And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for uh, a brew that I put together this morning. I'm calling it Buffed Elusives. It's kind of built around some stuff that I've had some success with in the expeditions, but we're going to be playing it over in Ranked. We're making a constructed deck. For those of y'all that are pretty familiar with me from, from Magic, I do love to brew. I, I build uh, my own decks usually and, and uh, play lots of different decks. I play a very wide variety of decks. Um, and, but we're just kind of starting here because obviously I don't have all the cards yet here with Legends of Runeterra. And I'm about a weekend now, so I'm getting you know pretty familiar with uh, the game and everything. But as I continue to get more familiar and get a larger collection, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be playing a lot of different ranked decks all the time. Um, this one here, we just had Elusives just got a lot of um, nerfs that just happened. But I still think it could maybe be pretty strong. And I just want to try it out, you know, after it's gotten nerfed and see. I could definitely see people just like move, just thinking, okay, well, cards, you know, like three, four, five of these cards, whatever. That, no, definitely not five, but like three of these cards or so got nerfed. And so now uh, I don't want to play this archetype anymore and, and move it on to something else. And I think that a lot of people maybe would do that. But I don't think they made it so like the, the cards are unplayable. So some cards that got nerfed, obviously, um, of course, Inspiring Mentor, that was the big one, that now only gives the ally in hand plus one, plus zero, instead of um, plus one, plus one. That was a big thing. But then there was, like, some other ones, like, with your Life Blade that's now just a 2-2 two -two and so on. But anyway, um, so we're going to we're gonna try uh, some more with, or we're going to try these elusive creatures. But I'm pairing, I'm doing a different pairing than what a lot of people do. I think a lot of people use... Uh, Demacia for a pairing, um, but what I want to do is I want to pair it with Omen Hawk because I love drafting Omen Hawk and I think Omen Hawk is just super strong. And this is a great one drop to help turn on Navori Conspirator. And so that's kind of my plan is that we have we have two different really good one drops with Inspiring Mentor and Omen Hawk that we can play on turn one and then have Conspirator pick them back up. And so that's why I'm going Freljord to pair these together. Freljor gives us some other good cards. We have like, uh, we have the Elixir of Iron to help protect our creatures because a lot of people are playing Piltover and Zon decks these days. A lot of people are playing like the the two mana uh, deal two damage, or the three mana discard one deal three damage. And so we got some Elixir of Irons to help protect our creatures against all the removal spells being played right now. Freljord, sorry, Freljord, good call, Freljord. Uh, let's see. Uh, but then I like Avasaurian Sentry. It's just a good solid card that usually trades with somebody else's creature and then draws you a card. So this is just something to kind of hang out on the ground while we're trying to win in, in the air with our with our elusives. I want to try one Glean, Green Glade Elder. I was kind of impressed with playing one whenever I was playing um, the uh, Expeditions. So I want to just put one in the deck. It could be a little slow, but we could get all of our allies plus one, plus one in hand. Um, Solitary Monk was, again, another card that just impressed me, but I don't really see it too much in the elusive decks because you do have to recall all of your other allies. But I'm going to I'm gonna try it out. And uh, the other reason why we, we got Frel Yord in here is for this Hearth Guard. Summon this, all the allies in your deck get plus one, plus one. Uh, looks like it's pretty sweet. So that's, that's what we got. We're buffing up. We're using Omen Hawk and... Hearthguard to buff up our elusives. So we got our buffed elusives. All right, so let's let's play some play some ranked. All right, so verse player buffed elusives ranked. We are now in silver. We're gonna just keep on trying to rank up. Just finished the tutorial. Cool. Awesome. All right, so we got two, three. This isn't really a life blade hand. This isn't even a great conspirator hand, honestly, also. I'm going to just take out both of those. Ugh. Now I want conspirator again. All right, let's play the hawk. Well, 
What are we playing against? Darius Elise. Some spooky spiders. There we go. Come closer. I don't bite. So the problem with pumping up green glade duo against I just bump up said you know they have the they have a lot of ways to kill this especially they're of course playing three of the thing that drains for one How did that move go? hey Rochi and I'm doing great So yeah, since since I already since I'm pumping up Zed and I'm gonna be playing it again, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna double pump Zed. Hey right packs. Card's even better. A three two. Last breath draw card. Nope, no strange zones. Like graveyard or exile, uh, there are cards that say like like recall something that died or like you know bring back something that died. Basically, whenever anything dies, it's it's it. You can kind of think of it like exile. Anything that that dies goes to exile. Basically, you don't get to. You, there's no like zone for it. You don't get to see those cards. Boo. But they can kind of come back. Mm. How did that move go? I want to clear some room. I'm gonna block with the one-one. No, you cannot double block. Nope. Uh, reporting in. Can see the Nebastian border from here. <laughs> yeah, it has this ledger here where you can yeah you can scroll through all the cards that have been played and like the stuff that's happened for the rounds. Yeah, that's that's what that's what they just said. The matter would be so lonely without you. Full speed ahead. For the homestead. This thing can't block. So yeah, they trade that spider. And I get to draw a card. Perfect. It's a good one. Act natural. I got you. Bounce another Omen Hawk back to hand. Those Omen Hawks have been sweet. So now a three mana, three, three flyer draw card. ETB draw card, that's pretty good. Where are you? A pretty present you um, make. 
That's the card I'm going to play right now before they go to attacks. I stand for Nazis. So I basically just have to stay alive, because then I have too much power in the air. We could use a bite. Training. This is me taking eight damage. Kill that, draw two. <laughs> Opponent surrendered. I didn't have anything for my flyers. My elusives. It's easier to say flyer than elusive. Even though it's not, you know, necessary. It's not technically flying. I get that 200 XP. First one of the day. For ranked. So you get you can you get XP for for the AI matches, um, like separate XP XP that kind of goes down for like you know ranked expeditions, um, AI matches, and I guess PVP also player versus player. I'm gonna replace those. This doesn't seem like a a matchup that we need those. This is kind of a weird champion thing, you know, like spiders and frostbite and just lots of damage. Not a very common contraption. <laughs> you can super edgy call it shadow. Wow. Dude, Omen Hawk is sweet. Hang on, Fuzzball. Hey. It's honestly maybe better to play the other Omen Hawk now. And then I get to bank the one mana. Like, if I play the other Omen Hawk, I can bank the one mana to be able to protect Zed with. Get blocked. Gotta have creature power three or greater to block that. Um. These I'm gonna play these. Still see far. Yourself to the shadow. Not really playing stuff. Winter take you. Boo. Let's move. Well now um now I don't want to attack with this 3-2 last breath because I don't want them to trade with the 3-1, because I want the 3-2 to trade with the 3-2, because then the 1-1s one can trade with the 3-1, of course.
All right, we're just going to bank this one mana. Running out of battlefield space. We'll be able to play the Hearth Guard. Grant all of the allies in our deck plus one plus one. So every ally they will draw has just one more power and toughness. That's really cool. Burrow. What do they got going on over here? Deal one to all enemy units, heal three. All right, I'm going to save that and you know, let them kill my two, my two hawks. Our strength is yours. Hawks down. Black Hawk down. Ugh, this Usari is a 6 5 now. Wow. I'm just going to move to attackers, even though, you know, playing, there's not really anything wrong with playing the Usari first. Frostbite in my Zid. Alright, protect Zed. Uh -huh, I'm sorry, Intellibeam. Okay, so that's a huge elusive, but we have to bounce all of our other creatures back to our hand. That may not be that bad bouncing these stuff back to our hand. Like bounce the hearth guard back, play it again. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Hmm. Yeah, we can bounce this stuff back. See the Devastian border from here. Now our, our Zed doesn't have damage the, the damage dealt on the damage put on it. Show me a target. Hmm. Ready the torches. The time is right. Strike now. Alright, that's fine. Light the signal oh man, a hearth guard with a pump. Okay, so I have seven mana, so I probably wanna play wanna play two drop, five drop. Let's start with the green glade duo. The Yordle here is with me. All right, so do they have more frostbites? I guess that's the real question. I guess I might as well, might as well play more elusives. It's basically just only frostbites that are gonna save them. So I really don't mind if they play like other creatures, so I don't have to go straight into attacks. I can play that, play this, bounce this. There we go. And then re 
replay the other one. So frozen spiders. Oh, I had a frozen spider deck. All right, we're leveling up. I think our deck's playing pretty well. Kind of like all this stuff. It's basically, I'm going to keep the, the three. I'm not sure about the Twin Disciples. That's the one that I could see putting back. But they're going to have like their deal three damage and everything. And we want to protect the Zed. I'm going to keep it. Keep it. Let's go with it. It's an expensive way to protect Zed, but we are, you know, we do get to bank man and everything. They're out there. I'll spot them. For the homestead. Wanna block? Omen Hawk, Omen Hawk. Omen Hawk, Hawk. Omen Hawk. Silent as Without a sound. So they're going to attack with both. I'm going to go ahead and block their 3 2 fearsome and then use Elixir of Iron. I will throw my and turns that into a 3-4. So now Zed will be a 3-1. But I'll have the Twin Disciples also. But I like, I like getting their Fearsome Creature here off the battlefield. And, you know, not taking the damage. All that kind of stuff. The deck list from last night's ranked run. Uh, it's probably in in here. There's there's my page with my decks. Uh, just started just started that yesterday so it has yesterday's and today's decks in there also in the just in the YouTube videos in the description of the YouTube videos there's a link to the deck list also so that's the other place where you could where you could find them This cost three. Everything's better with company. Says you. Says you. Boo. A tribute to the spider god. Hmm. 
They're attacking with Elise also? Look out for Reaver. Well, I definitely I want to kill Elise. I guess I'm not going to use this Frostbite and I'll just play the Shadow Assassin. Alert the oh, never mind. I'll play the Green Glade Elder. And pump up this other stuff. Yeah, yep, good call that we've been talking about like maybe playing Brittle Steel like instead of Flash Freeze. Um and yeah, Brittle Steel would have looked better for sure. Instead of having to use the three mana. Here's some buff inspiring mentors. Uh actually wait. Six mana. I'm gonna go straight to attacks here. Because I guess if I bounce the Inspiring Mentor, this thing won't get all those buffs that it just had. You know, like it'll turn back into a 1-2 instead of a 3-4. That, that's not a feels great. I'm thinking about just like bouncing the Green Glade Elder and then playing it again. Maybe not. An app. My life will be ordered. That works. An app. My life will be ordered. Now I'll have the I'll have the conspirator bounce the other the other shadow assassin back. So that being a 3-4 is a good blocker, and we can double Flash Freeze also. Makes attacking with these things a lot more difficult now. Yeah, it could bounce Zed to heal Zed. That's true. Keep it where... Keep, it, keep Zed from dying to just a, another, you know, like, drain one. Attack out? No, not attack out. Ouch. Um... I need to play this thing. These things are all fearsome. Hmm. Looking for a daring escape. Hey, what's up, Boo? Yeah, that's what we're kind of that's what we're kind of checking to see, you know, how good Inspiring Mentor is after the balance and everything. 
Um, you know, that's that's kind of one thing that I want to try with this is, you know, a lot of these cards, or not a lot, but a couple of these cards got nerfed a little bit, and I want to see how good they still are. So this trade's definitely happening. And... Gosh, I don't have good blocks, like, at all. We're gonna have to chomp. You're gonna chomp this. I will teach you. This can't even block. Cause these, I can't block these things at all. With with these, they have to be power three or greater. This is rough. No, I'm still doing stuff. The final well, at least I'm not dead. Oh, I guess I, I did Never mind, I didn't have any mana left. That's right. <clears throat> Let's see, so you're a 5 3. Dang. That's a blowout. The order rewards its faithful. Well, not a bad draw. I can do with five things. They have five stuff. Five things. Yeah, I'm doing really good, boot. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for coming, coming by, hanging out for a little bit. Hmm. Now I cannot deal with five things. Could have dealt with five things just a little bit ago. I'll show you how it's done. Now I cannot deal with five things. I guess that can block there. No, because I can play a new thing. Um, looks like we're going to lose this. But if you haven't started playing this game, I hope you do. This game is so much fun. Very easy to get into without spending any money whatsoever. Okay. So I can block fearsome, block fearsome, chump. It's too late for you. I think it's only gonna chump. Um Bounce, which I think brings another, I guess bounce this, frostbite, that, and I go down to, go down to one, one's not dead, yeah, it's been out for basically one month now, yeah, you're free to play, have around half the cards, nice, yeah, I, I'd have, yeah, I'd have, like, free to play for just five days, have over a third of the total champions you can possibly have. Ah, oh, they have a deny also. Alright, they got me that game. GG's. Defeated. Fearsome, too strong. Couldn't. Couldn't block. Especially that uh, that one turn where they had the double spider turn. That was a great turn for them. It's 
Flash freeze may not be any good. Something kind of testing. But I love Omen Hawk. Omen Hawk, Inspiring Mentor, Solitary Monk. Yes, please. So we'll play the Solitary Monk next turn, which will bounce both of these back to my hand. Which are both things with ETB effects. What is... Oh, is this... Oh, okay, this is the control deck. Well, I'm going to go straight to attacks first. Because I think they'll probably kill my Monk. None disturb my awesome, my last expedition run when I had the board by a mile with a dude played Life Blade Double Stand alone. Yes, it just had a huge, huge life linker. Ouch. Well, I'm, I'm glad we got to. They didn't have the removal spell immediately, and I got to untap with this, so I, I can keep up this Twin Disciples to protect it. Pump up some allies. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. If I must. I don't know what this attack's about, but I'm gonna try blocking. I think it's worth it. I would have got it. A nexus, or they would have got a mystic shot in hand. Would have got, you know, basically a, a shock. Plus three, plus three Zed. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Oh, they're going to have the Thermogenic deal two damage to everything, aren't they? Yeah, they're going to have that card. Hear that? Gotcha. Pledge yourself to the shadow. Dread light strike hard. Well, I'm just gonna attack out. They can, they can have it, Ezreal. Yeah, they can have that block here. <clears throat> but then, if they do have the deal two to everything, then Ezreal will die now. I would say they don't usually play that card. Well, just in case. Oh no, it's like a super buffed Zed, but which is also just a shadow shift right now. Um, I don't. I think I just let it happen. I don't think it's worth. Like a yodel in uniform. 
So even though I would rather, I would have rather played the hearth guard, obviously, but I don't want this Ezreal to just hit me and make a mystic shot for free. <laughs> Attack. So we have a shadow shift. We can recall an ally to summon a living shadow in its place. So I can recall this thing and put a living shadow, which is a which is just a three two. And then we'd have three, six, seven, eight damage but then this would also pump so it'd be nine so we would have lethal but there's also blowout potential if they have removal not necessarily blowout potential hey baloney pony runeterra is going great all right so it looks like i should have done that should have gone for lethal Mother will unite us all. Ezreal's at six of eight right now. Winter, take you. They cannot strike what they cannot. Yeah, having a great day today, Baloney Pony. Playing some Runeterra. Don't blink, or you miss me. So if I would attack with the one two, then we wouldn't get the extra um, other thing. I'm so good, I surprised myself. All right, Ezreal leveled up. So now, whenever they cast a spell, it does two damage to me. So they have like these little things, like that's they're trying to gonna try to just machine gun me down with Ezreal. Well, that's not gonna help too much. That was a lot of mana. Yeah, I don't think they can... Yeah, they can't really kill me from here. Surrendered! Alright. Buffed elusive deck looking pretty good. Three and one. That's looking good. Yeah, I do have I do have a couple of decks like the opponents, yes, except for I just don't have the Ezreals, that champion, which of course you need three of. But yesterday, whenever we were, we were kind of uh, talking through and people were giving me deck lists, I got three different versions of it, like a normal version, a Poro version that has like some little Poros in it, and a um, and an Elnuk version. Let me play some Elnuks. Bring me tea to gain the strength of rivers. So if you want if you want me to send you any of those those lists, QQ, I can certainly I'll do that. I don't have them posted anywhere, but I can after after the match I can go grab the deck codes. And I can put them in the chat here for you. 
Okay, yeah, no problem. Alright, so now we can have the Mentor make one of these Sentries 3-1 so it can block the fearsome Spooky Spider. Yeah, help. Whenever this game is getting close to finishing, help remind me. I don't forget. It's a really good card, the two mana 3 2. Fearsome. I kind of wish I would have just done that to begin with and didn't pump this Conspirator and would have just pumped the sentry, like both sentries to begin with, honestly. Yeah, because they just play that thing. And now the only card I can block with is the Flyer. Nothing escapes my watch. You call that sneaky? Ooh, pretty lucky they don't have any other tricks or anything. Never mind. Okay, I mean, yesterday, yeah, yesterday we played a, a Heimerdinger control deck. Yeah, controls actually, controls actually like maybe the most, or like controls very popular. I uh, like the the top ranks and stuff. We did a, a Heimerdinger Lux control deck yesterday. No. Ugh. Gosh, that's such a blowout. Alert the village. Oh. I don't know. I mean, I guess I do get to draw two. Our strength is yours. And play a five-five. Good job, gamer. You hit plat. Way to go. Come closer. I don't fight. The war mother will unite us all. Make these creatures bigger. Bigger. Faster. Stronger. Buffing the two, buffing the two two, so it can be fearsome. Night falls. Thanks, Mayor Emanuel. Thanks, thanks for getting those decklists for QQ. I appreciate that. There we go. Now we're talking. They Look at that double buff. Dude, this Hearthguard card is sweet. these blocks Master. So young. I so we're just gonna be out grinding Yeah, you're right. Yep, that's that's basically yeah. I take the normal slot in three lonely poros and a poro tutor. Yep. Uh, let's see. It's to 
late for you. This is our homeland. Stand and defend. <sighs> Playing for the long game. Not taking damage. So recall this, it's going to just turn back into a 5-5, five five, but it's going to grant all the creatures in my deck another plus one, plus one. So all my creatures in my deck are going to have plus, uh, plus three, plus three, <laughs> which is that silly. <laughs> this heart card is sweet. It's just a 5-5? Five five? Like... I thought it was pretty big. That's right, yep. Turn that game around. We're already at... Like, this just reset yesterday? Today's Wednesday. This just reset yesterday. We're already at level 10, and 13 is as high as it can go. And so we already have a free... An in-game update's available. We already have a free uh, whatever thing for tomorrow. Or for next week. Alright, uh, where are we at? Play. First player, buffed elusives. I'm liking my deck here. I'm liking my deck. I have a couple of cards that haven't been so good. Like, the, the flash freezes haven't been very good. Um, yeah, the Flash Freeze hasn't been good. Is that even the name of the card? I don't even know. Frostbite? No, Frostbite's the... That's the mechanic. Y'all probably know what... Y'all know what card I'm talking about, though. Lady Elise? Where are you? Flash freeze. Yeah, so it is flash freeze. Yeah, maybe I need to be playing just brittle steels. The Yordle here is with me. That egg. It seemed like they did a lot more damage than what they actually did. Traditions are lost if not passed on. Playing for the long game. Which, my opponent's an aggressive deck. It could certainly not work out. Let's move. I'm playing for the long game, pumping these things up. Alright, Omen Hawk. Make some bigger stuff. So we're gonna have five mana next turn, so I can play Green Glade Elder again and then play the sentry as a four three. Or I can just I could just play Usari and attack for eleven in the air. That's not a bad plan either. So 
It's not a bad plan either. I don't think I need to play... That's definitely the aggressive line. I don't think I really need to do the aggressive line. I should just attack for six in the air first. Because I'm not attacking with these other things that I'm now playing. I should have just gone to combat. These things are so big. See the Nebastian border from here. These things are so big. Look out for reavers. I will teach you. Block. Probably just need the ba they probably just need the battlefield space, honestly. I'm gonna be playing this life blade. Wasting so much mana. Looking for a daring escape. The power. They could have just the Wrath of God. They didn't play it right there. Okay. I know, right? Just just keep replaying all these omen hawks. Seventeen in the air. Boom. Buff elusives. Those are some buff elusives, that's for sure. Yeah, I wouldn't expect them to have have the wrath for sure, but they could have got me. All right, we got some reward. Rewards, an epic card, an epic card. That's a good one. That's a good one. People play this in in uh, different control decks and everything. Nine mana, six six. Whenever you play it, you discard the top five cards of your deck to deal one to all enemies for each spell discarded. So, so basically, yeah, it's like exile in the top five, basically. If there's, you know, three spells in the top five, you, know, you build it, it's like four spells in the top five, you do four to all to all enemies. That includes, that includes their nexus, so that includes their life total. Super strong card that's, you know, that's why it costs nine mana, of course. <laughs> nine mana. Yeah, it works great with Heimerdinger, because then... Because, uh, yeah, Heimerdinger playing all those spells. So, yeah, that's a good one. I'm going to keep it. I like it. The, the one card to maybe put back is just put the five drop back. But I have I have good stuff to be doing right now anyway. Alright, we're gonna be pumping up the life linker. So there's Zed Hikaram. So this is a Um An ephemeral deck. And we played an ephemeral deck yesterday. Looking for a daring escape. So next turn we can play the Sentry and the Mentor, pump up the Life Blade again. Then the following turn we can play the Life Blade as Do not fear the shrouded path. You can see the Nebastian border from here. 
It's four power life linker. Don't want any trouble. Ready the torches. Worth it. Flight the signal fire. That card's pretty scary. That one that I just traded my 3-2 flyer for their 2-3, because that 2-3 can, you know, be a lord effect. I did trade it, but the card's just really scary. They can see this game's clearly over. We're we're like gonna be winning. Likely. My life. Oh no. That was a really good card to play. Hmm. Never mind about that whole... We're probably winning. Strike for the balance. Guess he's just trade. It's too late for you. Well, Zed, Zed gets the flip, or, yeah, Zed, right? Yeah, Zed gets the flip. Oh, yes, they let me play a creature to block. Thank you. That was big. They, they should have just gone straight to attacks. And speaking of going straight to attacks, here we go. Cut the breath from them. This is probably not good. Okay. Over here. Our top two allies are going to be so big. Whatever the top two creatures are, they're about to be so big. It's going to be great. All right, so turns out that was a bad attack by me, but... We did trade that uh, creature for, for two of their spells. And also Zed put back in their hand, so now they have to play Zed again. So whenever they play Zed, I get to play one of these really big creatures. <laughs> My own 7-6 Zed. Whew! A 6-6 six, six life blade? That's what I'm talking about. Let's, let's play Zed first. So if they use removal, they use removal on like this stuff, and then I, then I get the life blade. Yeah, those were like the best things to hit. I agree. You cannot escape. Not disappoint me. Basically, just kind of clearing some room. That gets two things off the battlefield for me. On my mark. Yeah, there's nothing I could have really done to stop that. I gave my Zed ephemeral, but again, they used their removal spell, so now this life blade should survive. Just kill their Zed. If 
That lets them play something, though. I think that's okay. That lets them play something, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll give them priority. Yeah, like that that doesn't really matter with those spectral riders, my things are in the air, but of course I want to just try to kill their Zed anyway. Oh it matter it's because of that thing. Follow Well they would just do they would have done that after combat anyway. So like it would have actually so it would have just been the exact same. That didn't change. Would have just been the exact same. They got a lot of removal, but they don't have a lot of, you know, stuff. Like, these are just going to die now. Oh, right. That thing's not ephemeral anymore. Oh, really? Now we get the burst? After they use their direct damage already? Scuttlegeist. All my things are plus one, plus one because of that 5-5 five, five that we played earlier in the game. I need to kill that thing. Block this to kill that. And... I just let Scuttlegeist hit me. I can only block it with the 3-3. Three, three. I can't chump block it. I would chump block it if I could. Oh, I meant to... Do the whole burst thing and keep this alive. I was just saying that my attacks were, or my blocks were done. That's something I'll get more the used master. to over time. Coming from magic. Alright, so last breath, draw one. Bump it up. Alright, so that will... That's gonna die. It'll trigger. I'll draw a card. Two, four, fearsome, attack, give me an ephemeral. The Yordle here is with me. I want to draw more of... I want to draw like another one of those five fives. Grant you know, grant all my creatures another plus one plus one and stuff like that. The dark beckons. Can see the Devastian border from here. Let's just attack. Yes. You cannot escape. No. So this block would put him down to one. They going down to one? Oh, they got something. What you got? Kill an ally, draw two, okay? I am down to nine. Not, not a lot of life. 
But they only got one of those lives. Oh, gosh. Good thing I still have two weak enemies. Rasa. Well, down to eight. Can I get this last point of damage across? Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. Just need one of these elusive creatures to survive and me survive. It's easier said than done. This is going to attack. It's going to bring back the shark. Alright, well, I will block um Where are you going? Look out for Reavers. It's too late for you. Oh gosh, I'm dead, aren't I? Hold up. Cause I'm dead if I make this block. Torches. So this would be four, five, six, seven. Oh, I'm dead if I make this block too. I guess I can't keep a creature alive. You cannot escape. Well, I can, I can get this plus two or plus zero plus two. Yeah, I forgot. I have the elixir. So we're good. Hang on, sir. Steal alive. Ooh. I got two flyers. What do they got? No! Two Spectral Raiders? Oh, that's gonna kill me! Wow! That kills me! Exact lethal. So close. Wow, so close both ways. You know, I had them down to one. I, you know, there's. I'm sure if we go back and watch it, I'm sure I could fit one extra point of damage in there somewhere. Ugh. Yeah, that prankster. That prankster killed me. Wow, that was such a close game. Uh, we're gonna play like this this last one and then switch decks because I want to make I'm gonna have these videos be like an hour and a half, so like one more match would be an hour and a half and then we'll play fearsome mid range for an hour and a half. Uh, let's see, I'm going to I'm gonna put these two back. So what do they got? They got Noxus, Piltover, and Zon. No. No champions. Let's play this four two. Is this? I wonder, like, how removal heavy my opponent's deck's gonna be. Yeah, for at least a little while. Sorry, complain. I'm gotten into this game a lot. Legends of Runeterra. Oh, 
Okay. I think I want to play my last breath thing also. Because they, yeah, they're obviously very incentivized to attack. How did that move go? I'm taking six. Find the signal fire. Oh, no. Wrong one. This one. So now we got eight in the air, and they're at sixteen. I can do this. Walk softly, strike quickly. <laughs> Basically, just keep on getting these four two flyers. We just need two of the four two flyers to connect next turn. We'll have three of them. We're not in too much danger of dying this next turn with us being at 14. Where's my axe? It's too late for you. So three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We still have five mana. This is part of the This just makes it nine. I guess I could have blocked this 1-4, I guess, with my 4-2. But I don't really want to expose those 4-2s at all. Not dead yet. Act natural. Do they have do they have the burn spell to kill us? They could have the deal three. There's a you know, there's a deal three damage burn spell. Let's make a deal. Oh, that does two damage total. Is that it? Did they just get us down to one? Wow. Dude, these games are so close. So close. Last game we got our opponent down to one but died at exact zero. This time they got us down to one. And we are able to kill them. Okay. But there we go. So 6-2. Good record there with buffed elusives. This deck definitely felt really good. It, this kind of felt like the best deck that I've played so far, honestly. Uh, really liked it. it was, you know, of course, probably because I put it together and say so I really liked the play style of it and everything. But it was our our best like record ranked deck. Um, the flash freezes were definitely the worst cards in the deck. This card was not that good. Um, Elder was pretty sweet. I liked that one, Elder. Yeah, so the, the Flash Reaches could be replaced. Uh, we talked about like maybe replacing them with Brittle Steel. Just having it be one mana thing. Um, which I think would be 
would probably be fine. I was thinking that we need like flash freeze against bigger creatures. You know, like some like big creature that's attacking, you flash freeze it. I don't know. Um, it wasn't that great. Uh, the Will of Ionia also was not that great. Um, these colors have Deny, right? Isn't Deny an Ionia card? Maybe, maybe you replace that with like Deny if there's going to be a lot of spell heavy decks. Deny costs four mana now, though. But that's that's an option. I don't know. Um, I don't know if you have you have any preference on something you want to play instead of the flash freezes. Like maybe you want to try brittle steel, or you know you want to try something else. You know, give you know feel free to give that a, a whirl. Um, yeah, battling Bjerg would probably be pretty good too. I could definitely see playing battling Bjerg. Uh, where's that card? Babbling Bjerg. So yeah, whenever you summon, draw a unit with five plus power. And so the basically that's always gonna that's just gonna draw our um Averosian hearth guards, so we can always curve out into that. And you know, three three is a pretty decent blocker attacker blocker, stuff like that. Yeah, that, that would have been a good card. Now, let's say I play a hearth guard and it says allies in your deck at plus one plus one. So then whenever it says draw a unit with five plus power, then I'm drawing like solitary monk and stuff like that also, right? Because then that's a five plus power um, card. I would assume that that's how that works. So, so maybe that's, so maybe that doesn't work as well as we had hoped, as we would hope. I'm not sure, honestly. Um, the Inspiring Mentor was still good, and it worked really well with Sentry and with Shadow Assassin that are, you know, the 2-2 two -two and the 2-1, basically pumping up the power of both of those to 3 so they could block the Fearsome Creatures. That was pretty big. Or, you know, obviously it was still pretty good with Conspirator still. But yeah, basically I, I kind of want to replace the Flash Freezes, but I don't really know exactly with what. But that's that's it. That's Buffed Elusives. Real good, real good deck. I liked it a lot. All right, then now we're going to go play some Fearsome Midrange. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave the comments. If you're trying this deck out yourself, let me know how it's going for you. And uh, that's, yeah, and any other comments, you know, like any other decks you want me to try out, leave those, you know, leave those YouTube comments. All right, but thank you so much for watching. Um, some buff delusives, and I'll see you for the next video.